Hi everyone, welcome back to the Lookout Point podcast. My name is Ebony, I'm the host of this podcast. Today we are joined with a very special guest. This is my little puppy, Hippie. <gasps> Say hi, miss. Oh, hi. Oh, kisses. Oh, kisses. And um, I'm sorry it's been so long. I have had such an intense start to the year. Firstly, I adopted my little baby girl named Hippie, and um, it's been a roller coaster of moving her in, getting her into her new life with me and Stefan, my partner. So, welcome to episode 18 of season 1. We are almost at season 2. When it's episode 20, it will be the last one. And today we are talking about how to improve your technique because this was highly requested on my Instagram. And I think episode 19, we wanted to do, um, like, it was also highly requested on, like, how to start dancing because a lot of you maybe have never started and it's not something you just have to, like, be born to do. You can also start at any age to dance, like, yeah. Okay, so we got all comfy. I'm going to give my little puppy a little treat. Oh, take it. Take it. What? She always, yeah, she's a big foodie. Like, she will eat everything. Oh my god, if you want me to do like an ASMR, I would love that. <laughs> I have an amazing voice, apparently, from people. They say, oh, your voice is so soothing. So, I would love to do ASMR one day. Anyway, so let's just jump right in. I would say, the reason why people want to improve their technique in dance is because we want to get better, obviously, but also because sometimes you want to accomplish certain tricks in a style or in a piece and it has to be done, like either work or hobby, whatever. Like you say, I want to go, I want to go. You say, I want to do um, three pirouettes. So you're going to have to like improve some technique to get that, you know, or I need to do this jump, but I'm not high enough in the air to get my legs in that position. Whatever the case, it like, it's necessary to improve because you want to get that technique or that jump or that, you know, like you want to improve. There's reasons why you want to improve. It's very obvious. And if it's not, that's fine. Just maybe you just want to improve in general. Anyway, that's very simple. Just to base this podcast episode first that's very simple um so the one thing I think people get wrong I had a girl message me recently and she was like Ebony I'm doing everything right I'm working every single day seven days a week I train every day I do all the exercises that I'm told to do I'm like the perfect student and I'm not improving and I was like okay and I instantly knew what was wrong I was like you need rest rest is key when you want to improve people think the more you train the better you'll be like yes but you also need to rest because your body it cannot just keep going like this like your body needs to chill for a bit like it's like a car if you rode that car, like drive that car all day it's gonna need fuel it's gonna need a tire to change or whatever like i don't know enough about cars to say this but you get what i mean your body cannot go at 100 24 7. it needs to chill it needs to process what it's done and it needs to realize okay like i learned this i've been training myself with this new exercise and it's gonna become like evident when i've improved like it's gonna i'm gonna see the results basically so number one you need rest this is key. People are like, oh my god, I train every day, I do everything right, I do my point shoes every day, I do my jazz, I do my tap, whatever it is. That's great that you want to do it every day. You don't need to. I don't care whatever age you are, you need a day off. And if you don't, you're also going to burn out. So please just have a have a day off, number one. Um, number two, I would say you need to like let it go. Um my whole life I thought oh my god if I go to the gym every day if I work out and do my you know my clamshell exercises or my hamstring exercises and the splits that I'm gonna get better every day 
yes, but your body needs to also have fun. Like, so you need to let go. So what I mean is do your work, do Monday to Saturday, you know, hard work, whatever. And then Sunday, maybe have a chill day, maybe sleep in (laughs) until 9am instead of 6am, maybe eat breakfast in bed, watch some Netflix for two hours of that day. Like, allow yourself to be a human and chill like allow yourself to be normal because as dancers we really like rush to think oh I have to be perfect and I have to do everything like you know to the extreme and every athlete does this like I've seen lots of athletes not just dancers like all the athletes try you need to just like also have a life balance you can't go full throttle all the time you need to like balance your life out a bit yeah So, number one, rest. Number two, let it go. Like, have fun. Go to the movies with your friends. Go shopping. Go eat at a nice restaurant every now and then. Like, let yourself go. If you don't, you will burn out. You'll go crazy. You will no longer want to live a life where you cannot even have fun. Like, improving is only so much fun after a while. You need to realize there's other fun stuff to do. Yeah? All right. Step three. Number three, step number three, you need to look at what you're doing. You need to realize, okay, am I only doing the same exercises for a year? Like, am I only doing like my my clamshells and my arm workout like for a whole year? And is it the exact same amount, the exact same repetitions, the exact same weights? I don't care what you do. What are you doing? Yeah, so like maybe you've done the same workout for three years in a row of course you're not going to improve if there's no shock to your body your body can only be like you know uh can only your body can only stay in like a certain like what's the word i can't even talk today you're only (laughs) your body will eventually like plateau like it will get used to everything It's like when you first try to pirouette, your body's like, oh my god, like, what's a pirouette, you know? And then after six years of doing a pirouette, you're like, oh, I've got this. Maybe it's still not your favorite thing, but you know, you you go, okay, I plie, I releve, whatever. You know what to do, you know? (laughs) Like, I lock in my knee, I turn my head, I spots, yeah. Does it make sense? You need to shock your body. I've been doing that recently because I don't dance anymore full-time not even part-time at this point I'm really taking a break like I don't feel the need to go into a ballet class anymore I'm really enjoying my life as a Pilates instructor as a dance teacher and freelancing it's really nice balance and it's like I have so much free time now to just yeah enjoy my life um yeah if you want a podcast episode on why why like I wasn't happy doing the dancer job I can definitely talk about it um but a lot of people like oh my god stop being so negative about your career I'm like it wasn't negative it's just it wasn't for me that's it so where were we yeah so step three you need to shock your body so even me now for example I teach Pilates I teach dancing but if I only do that my body gets really bored and um I start getting aches and pains from not doing enough (laughs) fun so what you need to do is like shock your body a little bit and think okay what have I never done like try a Zumba class try a yoga class if you've never done it try like I don't know a booty abs class like there's so many things to try in this world pole dancing like try anything whatever you want to try just do it at least once like give your body something new and fresh and give your mind like a shock as well and also this is very like people especially ballerinas ballerinas especially are going to be like "Mm -mm." try lifting a few weights please be old enough to lift a weight like I'd say 15 or over is a good age even 18 or over don't want to lift weights when you're 12 this is really bad for your growth like please be careful um like yeah light weights doesn't have to be 100 kilos of course like you can just lift a five kilo little bell like whatever that's fine um I'm currently training a little bit more into weights, like, for fun. Not because I want to be a bodybuilder or I don't want to be in a bikini comp. I don't want that. I just like to shock my body. And my partner, Stefan, he 
loves the bodybuilding and I'm like great it's not for me I just really enjoy to try something so I'm like oh look you really like bench press you know cool weights can I try it like just for fun so he's like yeah this is your little plan so he gave me like a two-day um weightlifting workout but then every other day I do my Pilates, I do my dance teaching, so I do cardio, I like, you know, on the elliptical, like running, and I like uh, stair walking, like the stair masters, I like biking, I bike around my city all the time, so yeah, I walk my dog all the time, she's so spoiled, and she's asleep, cutie pie, um, so yeah, like, shock your body, try new things, I think it's so easy for dancers to be like, okay, Every day for a year, I'm going to do 10 minutes of running, 10 minutes of abs, my clamshells, my whatever. Girl, like, change it up. Your body needs to be like, can't always stay in the same. Like, it's going to be so boring. It's like eating the same food every day for a year. You would probably just like, no, you're like, ew, that's disgusting and boring. Yeah. That's step number three in a big long description (laughs) so yeah step number three number four step number four you need to remember that it takes time to improve you're not going to improve in one day uh you're not going to improve in a week it might take a month and just remember that time is the key that's all i have to say like you just need time you didn't learn like how to brush your teeth in one day. <laughs> you had to kind of figure it out as you go. You didn't learn how to do um, like, you know, hairstyles in one day. Heck, when I was learning how to braid my hair, it took me like a year to actually get it well. So, you know, like give yourself time, give yourself, just allow yourself some time. You have time, that's it. And if there's anyone expecting you to rush an improvement, then, that's their problem it's not your problem if they're like oh my god sally like why didn't you improve your pirouettes from yesterday that's their problem that's not your problem like okay maybe for a show they're like yeah you can do two pirouettes what's wrong like why aren't you nailing it that's a bit different but if they're like oh i expect this from you tomorrow you can do all that you want in your power but like you also just need time like it just takes time to get used to things and also to shock your body. So number four is time. Um, my last step, number five, is a bit controversial, but if you're not improving and you want to improve your technique or improve anything in that matter, um, sometimes it depends on the people who are around you. And yes, I mean your teachers, your directors. Um, sometimes your main source of guidance in the world like director principal boss teacher mom whatever they may not always have your best interest at heart even if they think they're doing the right thing so even if they say to you like i have high expectations for you i have this for you that's fine for them don't let that become your reality so if they say you need better turnout and like your technique is bad or whatever number one why are they being so mean to you about it like they can approach it in a very nice way so number one you can kind of do the mature thing and say look I understand it's maybe not up to your expectations of my level but there's a way to say something to someone like we're in 2024 all right like we're not in 2001 we're not in 1950s anymore you can like say things in a nice way and still get your point across in an encouraging way and not saying oh you're so bad at this why are you so bad at this what did you do to be so bad at this girl so yeah wake up a bit we're in 2024 if someone's treating you like that you need to be smart and say like maybe they're not the best person to hear advice from so mm -hmm, number one of that um it's really hard when like yeah your boss or someone says oh you need to improve this and they give you like a day Oh, in the real world, like, that won't happen. Like, in companies, that rarely happen. They're very, they're very aware of the situation of, you need to work at this for a month until it's better. It's different in companies. I think in schools, they're a little bit more like, Ugh, today it has to be like this. Girl, that will never happen in a company. I'm sorry. That will never happen. And if it does, well, then I'm wrong. I'm not always right, guys. This is just my experience. Um... But yeah, you deserve better if that's the certain situation that's happening to you. 
number one, you deserve better. <laughs> number two, you can just also speak up about something if it doesn't feel right. Um, yeah, I think that's the steps I would take to improve your technique. And oh, another little tip would be recording yourself. As much as we hate it, it's such a good tool that a lot of people didn't have back in the old days. And I would lie like if I said that recording myself has not helped immensely improve my technique some things like a teacher will tell you and you cannot see in a mirror or feel and recording it just helps you see it from your like perspective um also if you don't see it on video try filming it in a different angle maybe that's why like one way you see it one way you don't so yeah that's what I would say recording is like a huge help that we can use to benefit our technique and improve our technique yeah my other tip record yourself um a second tip would be like don't be afraid to like use your tools around you so if you do have like a gym membership or your parents have one or if there's like a gym at your studio like use it like I think people are really afraid to step outside of their comfort zone but the more you go outside of it, the more you're going to get better at not just your technique, but everything in the world. Like if you start going to yeah, a gym or something and you're 12 and you start, you know, trying to maybe run because you want to f get more endurance. That's great. Not only to be a dancer, but just like in real life situations, like not to be too deep. But what if there's a tsunami and one day like you have to run, you have to be physically ready to run. So this is like logical you know so <laughs> mm, that's something small to also think of like real life situations you know um yeah like small things like that it's just find the funny side of it like oh if there's a tsunami though i'm gonna outrun it like <laughs> i don't know i don't want to sound weird but that's just the truth you need to think of like all possible scenarios to why that would benefit your life not just oh i'm gonna be a better dancer because i'm gonna have more cardio great but it's also gonna benefit you other ways you know yeah and I think to cut this at the end tip number three would be to improve yourself like write stuff down record yourself of course what I've said um try new things that help not only your dancing but also in everyday life because then you're more open to certain scenarios and certain things and you also can like journal like write down your corrections write down your problems write down what's going on in your head or what you don't believe in yourself um yeah this is honestly tip number three and four and another tip this is very very dependent on the person if you need it please go see a therapist therapy is amazing um or some type of therapy if it's like hypnotherapy i don't know whatever you want to try you should do it. I don't think therapy is ever a bad idea. And if someone tells you it's a bad idea, then they're the problem and not you. I know it's expensive. I know not everyone can afford it. Like, heck, I can't even afford it at this point. I had it a while ago and it was really nice for me. And I definitely want to get back into it because I still have, honestly, trauma problems, like things going on in my brain. Um, I'm a very anxious person, so there you go um which I never thought because I act so confident and I'm also like a very good teacher like I'm very positive energy everyone says I'm so calm when I teach like I have a very soft and calming voice but I'm like I'm the most anxious person you'll meet <laughs> like probably <laughs> I don't know um anyway not the story but find what works for you try new things your technique only improves as much as your mind does as well it's not just physical technique is also a mind game um and it's so corny but you need to believe in yourself you need to realize like you can improve and you kind of have to just manifest it like as a kid I would dream at night I'd wake up and I'd dream I did 10 pirouettes at some point and they were beautiful and then I'm, I think one day it happened I did like six and it felt like that dream and I was like oh my god like I dreamt this <laughs> so sometimes it's just things like this like you need to dream it and believe in yourself first to do it um belief is something that will push you further way more than like practicing ever can believing you're something when you're maybe not is like half of the step getting there 
it's even walking down the street like if I feel really insecure I feel I feel it but if I'm like just act like you've got your life put together (laughs) you feel different about yourself you like okay I've got something to prove to myself you know like I'm doing my best I really hope you guys enjoyed this episode I think that's everything I have to say um yeah take whatever you want from this um not everyone will agree of course totally fine this is just my experience again I made this podcast because I wish I had like an older sister when I was growing up and I have an older brother but it's not quite the same and also I wish I had a sister who was in dance to understand what goes through someone's head like I do this to help people and I know I've helped people because I get your beautiful messages I receive people's comments and I I see it in also the the Spotify like analytics I see how many people are listening to stuff and I think I'm really helping people because it's getting listened to and that's all I wanted ever for this to happen like I just want people to be able to listen and say oh my god I feel so hurt I feel so seen by someone and they're helping me in some way even if not every episode you agree with me that's fine you don't have to not everyone agrees with everything who cares that's fine but if you can at least feel a little bit of serenity and like chill with your peace of mind then I've done my job and I think I was put on this earth because I'm a very strong person and I've been through so much and no one will ever understand what I've been through even if I told the story a hundred times backwards and forwards um no one will ever have walked in my shoes so you can't please everyone and no one will ever get it because they're not me and I'm not you so just remember that. I hope you enjoyed today's episode of watching my dog sleep next to me while I record this beautiful episode. I hope it made a bit of sense. If you like this video, please like it. Um, Please watch it on YouTube or listen to it on Spotify, whatever you're doing now. Share it with your friends if you think they would enjoy something like this. And it was a very simple episode, but sometimes simple is the best. If you want a complicated episode, you can always comment or private message me about an idea that you have for for an episode because I'm here to help and I'm here to listen and just remember that your technique can grow as much as you want but if you're not 100% okay with who's in here and here it's not going to matter how good your technique will get because you need to be happy with yourself first it's so cliche I wish someone told me when I was 12 looking at my technique but that's key You can be the best dancer in all the world, but if you don't heal or understand or believe or love the person who you are inside in both ways, the technique is going to be the best it could ever be and you're still not going to be happy. So it's a mind and body connection. Yeah. All right, guys. We've had enough deep talking. (laughs) I hope you enjoyed this episode. Um come back soon for more and as always have a great day or a great night wherever you are and i love you all so much thank you for all your support you're amazing um i'll see you in the next one take care guys dance on and have fun bye